Well, the Youngstown company that grows marijuana for medicinal purposes today announced that it's formed a partnership that will lead to ex-convicts being hired. Riviera Creek has joined with an Oak Hill collaborative company to train people convicted on marijuana charges on how to grow it legally. The three people involved in getting ex-convicts working at Youngstown's marijuana growing facility met today at Riviera Creek to explain why they think it's a good idea. We're um, building out a cannabis hemp you know, hydroponic school. Dion Dowdy runs United Returning Citizens. Based out of Youngstown's Oak Hill Collaborative, it helps ex-convicts transition back into society. In this case, those convicted on marijuana charges. And so we're going to help them go through the school, and then we're going to uh, give them business development. And then after that, we did a partnership with Riviera where they're going to come here for mentorship, for internship. We think it's a wonderful program. Brian Kessler is Riviera Creek's board chairman. Behind where he was sitting inside a warehouse on Crescent Street, marijuana was being grown. Kessler says his best employees have come with training, and that's what the ex convicts will get. You're really encouraging people that maybe don't have great paths after they come out of prison to give them something that they're actually skilled at, but now teaching them how to do it safely, how to do it properly, how to do it legally. United Returning Citizens is running the program with a $200,000 grant from the Hawthorne Social Justice Fund. Ten ex-convicts will go through the 18-month program. Two have already started. But can growing marijuana illegally be a resume builder to growing it legally? But Correct. people that's in their kitchen and they know they make good cake, then they go to what culinary school because they know that this is an interest. That's Correct. exactly right. exactly. All employees at Riviera Creek must be vetted and approved by Ohio BCI and the FBI, ex-convict or not. The hope is to eventually erase the negative stigma surrounding marijuana. We've seen the benefits for patients. We've seen that it hasn't caused some of the issues that people may have thought there would be. None of that has happened. Brian Kessler also runs a company called SBL Venture Capital, of which Riviera Creek is one of the holdings. SBL's newest venture, however, is a new social media app called MelTalk, which launches this weekend in Ohio. MelTalk is not texting and pictures. Rather, it's interactive videos. Here's how it works. I'm curious. How long does it take you to finish a book? Usually takes me over a month. I'm a slow reader. It takes me about two months once I read, but I haven't really read a book in a while. The MelTalk app will only be available for Apple products. Initially, the MelTalk Android app should be ready in about a month.